الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما نؤمن له بالربوبية ونقر له بالعبودية من يهد الله فهو المحتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين والأخيار من صحابته المنتجبين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة المذنبة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال تعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم يئس الذين كفروا من دينكم فلا تخشوهم واخشون اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا صدق الله العلي العظيم Congratulations on the occasion of Eid al Ghadir, the greatest Eid in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Eidullah al Akbar, which is today the 18th of the month of the Hijjah. And Alhamdulillah, Alladhi Sharrafana wa Hadana. لولاية الإمام أمير المؤمنين عليه الصلاة والسلام. We give thanks, endless thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. We sanctify Him for finding us worthy of receiving His ultimate gift, His ultimate blessing and that is the wilaya the guardianship the leadership the imama of mawla al-muttaqeen mawla al-muahideen wa amir al-mu'mineen ali ibn abi talib alayhi salatu wassalam one of the one of the most influential transmitters of hadith, muhaddithin, in the Sunni tradition. His name is Al-Muttaq Al-Hindi. He has an encyclopedia of hadith, more than 40 volumes of hadith. And the name of that encyclopedia is Kenzul Ummal, very famous within the Islamic circles. In his book, he narrates this hadith on behalf of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, أنه قال ما ثبت الله تعالى حب علي في قلب مؤمن فزلت به قدر ونبر الله in stalls Thabbata installs, firmly installs the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib 
in the heart of a believer, that believer, that person would never slip, would never go into the wrong direction. Moreover, the hadith says, when Allah installs the love of Ali in his heart in this life and he embraces this love and this guardianship and this loyalty to Ali ibn Abi Talib, then his journey in the hereafter is also safe and Allah will strengthen him and consolidate him on the path of the Sirat, on the Sirat, on the Day of Judgment. This is the real gift from Allah. I mentioned last night briefly, very briefly at the end of the tafsir, that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives various gifts to various people. Sometimes Allah gives intelligence to some people. Sometimes Allah gives money and wealth. Sometimes Allah gives fame. Sometimes Allah gives family and children and grandchildren. Sometimes Allah gives property and land. Sometimes Allah gives influence and government and position uh, in the community. These are gifts. But Allah saves his greatest gift and the special gift to special people and that is special gift the ultimate gift of god is the gift of hidayah and guidance and allah does not give this guidance to anyone to special ones who deserve it who work hard to earn it and an example of that gift is this sheikh who's sitting here he just touched down from Denver, Colorado, a sheikh. Until a few years ago, he was known as Sheikh Omar al Farooq. Today, he's a proud to name himself as Sheikh Ali al Farooq. Sheikh Ali, he hails from a prominent family in Mosul, in northern Iraq. And during his course of his studies, his father sent him to study abroad. He went to Medina. He arrived late. So they said to him, you have to wait one year until we admit you into the Wahhabi institution. He went to Jordan. He arrived late. He went to Damascus. And in Damascus, in Syria, he will mention the story tomorrow, inshallah, during the celebration of Eid al Ghadir here. We ask you to come here, inshallah, to listen to his experience, to, to his journey, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him and changed his direction 180 degrees, 180 degrees from being someone who could not tolerate to hear the name. Shia or to see the Shia into someone who is a scholar in the Shia tradition today, alhamdulillah. This is the gift of Allah, a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who are sincere. I mentioned the story here last night as a story briefly. When I was leaving, a lady came to me with tears in her eyes right here at the entrance. She said, I have a similar story. My name used to be Aisha Farooq. Now I am Fatima Farooq. Last night here. So these are gifts. These are gifts, special gifts for special people. And we have to appreciate. Sometimes we take this gift, we who are born Shia, we take this gift for granted. We don't appreciate this gift of Hidayah, of the Wilayah of Ahlul Bayt and Amir al Mu'mineen, Aliyam Abdul Salatu Wassalam. Always you have to say, always, every single morning, every single evening before you go to bed, always recite this Alhamdulillah, Hadana, Lihada, 
وما كنا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله This is by invitation only by invitation to cross these difficult borders to cross it these are by invitation only I know another sheikh from the same city of Mosul who also made this journey to the school of Ahlul Bayt 50 years ago 50 years ago with my father my father was sent to exile in northern Iraq by the, that regime at that time before the Ba'ath came to power in Iraq that's back in the 60s so sometimes sometimes you think that something bad is happening to you but then Allah knows Allah is designing something good a good out, outcome my father was sent into exile to different cities in northern Iraq to so they would punish him keep him away from his family from his city they sent him to Zakho northern Iraq in Kurdistan they sent him to Tikrit and then to Mosul and there in Mosul his job is to preach the word of Ahlul Bayt the message of Ahlul Bayt so one of the young people there in his early 20s he was debating with him he comes from a prominent family in that city and within a few nights he found himself to be guided to the school of Ahlul Bayt he says to me that man he tells me the story now he is in he's in his 70s almost 70s he tells me when I accepted the school of Ahlul Bayt for one year I still had some doubt in my heart I still had some doubt that is it really logical that all those people around me my family some of them are very learned scholars they could not find the fact and I am among hundreds of thousands of people in my city I am the only one who found the fact this thing really bothered me a lot am I really on the right direction or I am being misled he said although I was Shia but still I had a residue in my heart some doubt so he said we had a scholar Arlen a pious scholar in the city of Mosul I decided to go and ask him because I trusted his opinion this man is a man of God a pious man righteous he has taqwa and wara I said let me go to this man and ask him so I went to the mosque and I said to him after the prayers I did the prayers with him behind him after the prayers I came to him I said to him Shaykhana I'd like to have a private session with you with no one there he said yes come to my house so I went with him to my house to his house and I said this is this session is very confidential I don't want anyone to know about it the Sheikh said yes my son what is it tell me he said I was very hesitant should I tell him he would be mad at me he would be angry but I said this is why I, I'm here this is my last resort I want to know his opinion because I trust him I said to him Shaykhana please don't get angry at me allow me to speak he said yes my son tell me what is it have you done something wrong I said no I haven't done something wrong but for the last year 12 months I changed my madhab to the school of Ahlul Bayt, the Shia. And I just want to see whether I did the right thing or the wrong thing. He said the Sheikh immediately he stood, he went, he shut the door, he shut the windows, he came back. He said, my son, can you tell me about your family? Who's your father? Who's your grandfather? So I mentioned my father is this and that and my. So he knew my grandfather, he knew my family very well. He said, I know your family, I know your father very well. 
I'm going to tell you something, don't share it with any. As long as I'm alive, don't share it. My son, what you did is right. The rightful madhab, al madhab al haq huwa madhab ahlul bayt alayhim abu salatu wa And I am myself, I am Shia, but I hide it. Nobody knows, because if they know in my community, they will murder me the same day. The same day, they will murder me. So stay on this path. This is the right path. Stay, be strong, be proud, and be assured that what you did is the right gesture. This is what I heard from this Sheikh who is also from Mosul. And now he's in Iraq. Right now he's in Iraq. So, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi hadana lihada wa ma kunna lilahtidi lawla an hadana Allah. Another story, I prepared something, but I am saying something else. Yeah. I am not reading from my notes, I am reading from my heart now. I conclude with this story because today is Eid al Ghadir. You know Dr. Dr. Masbah Abdurain? He, he has been here a couple of times. And he was heading the Salafi direction in America, in North America. Not just America, but North America. And he tells me, Dr. Duraini, he tells me that I was researching for so many years, quietly. I did not share this with anyone. Secretly and quietly, I was reading and reading and researching. And then I reached a stage that this is the right madhab. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking me to do and to follow. The school of the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt But I did not declare that. I was hiding it only between me and my Lord. Nobody knew about it. No one. None in my family, none in my community. Until one day, and I was hesitant, should I say now I am Shia or not? Until one day, I read an article. There is an electronic newspaper. I follow this popular Arabic newspaper. There was an article defaming and attacking the school of Ahlul Bayt and saying all sorts of this, you know, typical nonsense, that they have different Qur'an, they are hiding their Qur'an, they, 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 they hide their belief that Ali is the messenger, not Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They don't pray, they don't this, they don't, they face Karbala in their Qibla, is not Kaaba, Karbala, and and you know, you know the rest of the cliché that we hear it all the time. He says, I read this article. On that day, Allah gave me the strength, the energy, the wisdom, the power to counter that article. So I started typing that what you are saying, I was rebattling this, the, the writer of this article. I said to him, this is not true. The Shias are Muslims. They follow the Prophet ﷺ. They follow the guidance of the Prophet, the wasiyah, the will of the Prophet. And they follow the school of Ahlul Bayt. Their Quran is the same Quran. The Kaaba is the same Kaaba. They perform the prayers, this and this and that. And I sent the article. I said, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I will send this. And they have to publish it, of course. And I asked the editor. I said to him, if you are a real Muslim, you have to publish this response in the same page. So it went. After a few minutes, they published it. Alhamdulillah. Then I realized, I realized, oh, and he says, at the end of the article, I said to him, what you said are all wrong accusations, wrong accusations, what you said, and I am... Dr. Misbah al-Duraini, I am proud to declare Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah wa ashhadu anna aliya waliullah. 
And I sent the article. I sent it. They published it. I realized after a few hours that today is the day of 18th of the Hijjah, the day of Eid al Ghadir. He says, with, without a planning, without a planning. So I knew that this was again a gift. Allah enabled me to defend the truth, to defend justice and the truth, the haqq, the school of Ahlul Bayt, on the day of Ghadir. This is four years ago. Four years ago. He says, I'm a newly born person now. At the age of 77, he's a newly born person. And he's right. He's right. Newly born. Because life is not about food. It's not about drinks. It's not about having a house or children. Life, the essence of life, is about following the truth. If you are not following the truth, your life is wasted. Your life is wasted. The day we start counting that this is real, my real life, the day when we start following the truth and putting the truth, the hat, above all other considerations. No word of thanks is sufficient, is enough towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this gift that he had bestowed on us. The gift of imama and wilaya. The gift of imama and wilaya. And I have seen those who change. I've seen them. I've seen many of them. Many of them. In America, in Europe, in the Middle East. Men, women. How they become devout. How the wilaya of Ahlul Bayt changes their entire being. Their entire perspective. Their entire life. Their entire life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to be the true servants, inshallah, of Islam, of the Prophet, of the Holy Quran, and the true servants of the true followers of Ahlul Bayt, alayhim abdul salati wa salam, man mata ala hubbi ali Muhammad, mata shaheeda, mata shaheeda, a person who dies where he, his heart embraces the love the loyalty and the fellowship of Ahlul Bayt, he is granted the status of a martyr, shaheed. And then the Prophet wasallam. I conclude with this hadith on this day, the Prophet wasallam says, Unwan sahifat al-mu'min hubbu Ali ibn Abi Talib. The title of the book, the title of your book, you carry a book. وَكُلَّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا The title of that book is the love you have to carry. If you, if, if you want your book to be accepted, at the, here at the cover has to carry, it has to carry the title حُبُّ عَلِي يَبْنَ أَبِي طَالِبْ عَلِيَ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر صلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين